The big story we are tracking at this hour is a hostage crisis that's unfolding in Sydney. Reports say one or two terrorists might be inside and at least 13 people have been held hostage inside a cafe in Sydney's central business district. Let's get in a word uh, from Mr. Bandula Jayashekara. He's the Consul General of Sri Lanka in Sydney. He's currently in Colombo, but uh, his office is located uh, barely a few hundred meters away from this cafe where this hostage uh, crisis is taking place. Thanks so much for speaking to headlines today, Mr. Jayashekara. What can you tell us about the location of this uh, cafe and uh, would it be seeing a lot of traffic considering that it's holiday season, Christmas is just around the corner? No, it is, yeah, because Martin Place is uh, it's a very central place. It's, uh, this cafe is uh, opposite the Macquarie Bank and uh, close to Channel 7 and even the Reserve Bank is situated. So it's really the, one of the central places where tourists, everybody gathers. And as for really the, my office as well as really the, your, the Indian Consulate General's office, we are about four blocks away from there. That. that is the place where I you know, go to work. I pass that place and go to work usually. All right, so you're saying it's very close to your place of work also, which means it's close to a VIP area. Uh, Mr. Shekhar, does it no, does it doesn't it raise concerns blocks. the fact that uh, a hostage crisis of this nature can take place in the central business district uh, of Sydney, and also the fact that there are black flags that are being held up with uh, alleged Islamist uh, literature. So there is there is some speculation that it could be it could have international terror links as well. Yeah, I mean, I feel it's difficult for me to comment on that because uh, I mean, it's, uh, the situation is unfolding, but all kinds. What I can say is it's really the central business district because, like you said, it's a season and where are tourists and uh, Sydney attract lots of tourists and lots of uh, the business, that's the central business district. And it's not only mine, like uh, we are like the Sri Lankan Consulate General's office as well as the Indian Consulate General's office. We are four blocks away, you know, we pass that way, even though we cannot see Martin's place, but we do pass that way to go to work. So, so you're basically telling us, Mr. Shekhar, that this is a high security place. No, I would no. See, Sydney is. Uh, I would say it's, it's a very free place. You know, it, it attracts like uh, I mean millions of tourists. So and you know, like people do move about very freely because this is you know this is a cafe, which you know I mean I mean I would like Sri Lanka. We have suffered you know terrorism for thirty years, and you know these uh, terrorists have no heart. I mean they would they would have us or take hostage any any to anybody. So this is really what is happening. This is where the terrorism, anywhere, you know, this is the you know, world we really have to end terrorism. This is what, is, what happened to us. I mean, we, I mean, you know, our airports were attacked, innocent people were arrested. This is the same thing which terrorists are doing everywhere. Absolutely, the attack basically, the hostage crisis shows that uh, no one, no city in this world is immune to a crisis like this. Mr. Bandhula Jai Shekhar, thanks so much for speaking to Headlines. I was the Consul General of Sri Lanka in Sydney. His office uh, is four blocks away from this cafe. He's currently in Colombo on holiday, but he's trying to give us a sense of exactly how this place is, the geography of this place. We're going to continue getting updates on this big story. Thanks so much for speaking motivated, to us. Although obviously there are some indications that it could be. We have to appreciate that even in a society such as ours, there are people who would wish to do us harm. That's why we have police and security organisations of the utmost professionalism that are ready and able to respond to a whole range of situations and contingencies, including the situation that we are now seeing in Sydney. The whole point of uh, politically motivated violence is to scare people out of being themselves. Um, Australia is a peaceful, open and generous society. Nothing should ever change that and that's why I would, I would urge all Australians today uh, to go about their business as usual. Of course, uh, if anyone does have uh, any suspicions uh, of untoward activity, uh, there is the National Security Hotline, 1800 123 400, uh, which I would urge them to call. Uh, I can let you know that the National Security Committee of the Cabinet uh, has uh, been briefed on this incident. Uh, I've been in regular contact with Premier Baird over the course of the last couple of hours. Uh, I've been briefed by 
Commissioner Scipione of the New South Wales Police and by Commissioner Colvin of the Australian Federal Police. Uh, this is an unfolding situation and as the situation unfolds there will be operational updates provided by the New South Wales Police. I want to assure people that the ordinary business of government must go on and it will go on and that's why Treasurer Hockey and Finance Minister Cormann will shortly be releasing the mid-year economic and fiscal outlook uh, as planned. Finally, this is a very disturbing incident. Uh, I can understand the concerns and anxieties of the Australian people at a time like this, but our thoughts and prayers must above all go out to the individuals who are caught up in this. Uh, I can think of almost nothing more distressing, more terrifying than to be caught up in such a situation and our hearts go out to those people. Look, um, I'm going to leave it to the New South Wales Police, uh, who are uh, in operational charge of this incident, uh, to provide those kinds of details. Uh, obviously, in a situation like this, uh, all sorts of reports fly around, uh, all sorts of um, claims are made, uh, so I, I do uh, urge everyone uh, to exercise caution uh, in their reporting, uh, but I will leave all of the operational details uh, to the New South Wales Police, uh, who, as I understand it, will begin providing operational updates shortly. Thank you.